Hey guys, Eric here. So today we've got a project outside. It's beautiful here in Arizona. It just turned to fall and honestly this is one of the best times to be here. Uh, it's only about 80 degrees outside during the day so it's really nice. Um, today we got some cloud cover though. We're gonna try to hang some string lights outside and by string lights I mean these lights like this these are LED string lights they're 50 feet in length each and we got two of them I'm gonna try to cover the entire perimeter underneath our balcony here it should only take two sets um, and we're gonna use this string lights hanging kit so I ordered this from Amazon it was about 40 bucks it's by a company called new Laray, and it's got everything that you need in order to hang the lights We've got some, we've got fasteners and carabiners, stuff like that, some tensioners as well. Uh, it comes with a nice little stubby screwdriver. I like the screwdriver, I'll probably use this for other projects later on. We've got some uh, wire ties, and we've got uh, the actual cable itself that the lights are going to hang on to. Um, how many feet of cable? I think it's something like 450 feet of 450 feet of cable so more than enough cable to do it so we're gonna just uh, we're gonna mount it directly to the ceiling here um, look they even include a, a tape measure that's nice um, we've got some of these you know what those are these create loops in the cable, so you can uh, loop them around the carabiners, or you can, uh, uh, what else, you can loop them around the, the tensioners here. These are tensioners. So what these allow you to do is, I'll show you real quick. So these allow you to create, create tension in the cable if it's not tight enough or it starts to get loose because over time the cable is going to stretch and it's going to get loose and that way you don't need to like disconnect and remount anything you can just tighten up the tensioner and that will retension the wire so these are actually really nice um, the kit looks like it comes with everything you need it's got some screws here and uh, it's even got your instruction manual it's a little short manual it's pretty self-explanatory um yeah so that's good let's get started okay one of the cool things to keep in mind before you get started when you're doing this um, you can actually mount the wire before you mount the lighting string so this is good you can tell you can map out the path where you want the lights to go and you can mount the wire completely and then all you have to do is you can uh, you can feed the the lights over the wire or you can just use these provided wire ties which is probably what I'm gonna do you can attach the string of the lights to the wire that's already been fed um, all right we're gonna start up here in this corner over here I'm gonna mount them on the inside because it's easier to mount this string with tension and stuff into the actual ceiling here rather than into the stucco of the house um, I've mounted stuff into the stucco here on the outside before and um, it's just hard to get it tensioned right without it coming down and pulling holes into the stucco of the house so it's just better to just mount it up here okay to start this off we're gonna mount one of these these are just called uh, what do they call these eye straps so these are called an eye strap I knew it was eye something but eye strap and basically to mount these we're just gonna drill pilot holes for these like we did inside two of them and then we'll just put two screws in and that'll mount it up there that gives us a starting point for a tensioner so let's go ahead and mount this up there
Okay, that's the first eye strap mounted. Now I have something I can attach my wire to. Next thing I gotta do is I gotta put, let me zoom out. I gotta put an eye strap in this corner on the inside of the shades and on the inside of the mister. So we have a corner and then we can start going down the way. Okay, so I've got two eye straps up. The kit only comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's an odd number, but anyway. Comes with seven eye straps. I know I'm gonna need two more over there for the other corners, so that gives me three that I can use in the middle. So I'm just gonna put one here. So here, I'm gonna put one I'll just eyeball it and I'm going to put one in between the two pillars here and then one at the center pillar and then one in between the two pillars there. So it's better to map this stuff out so you don't run out of eye straps.
Okay, so a couple things to know. I've got seven eye straps up now. The kit actually came with eight. I found another one that it came with. Eight is a more round number, it makes more sense. I've hung seven. Now here's the problem. I need a few more eye straps. And the reason I say that is because I wanna go along the inside perimeter as well. So I'm gonna need at least one, two, three. I need three more eye straps. So it looks like we're gonna take a trip to the store and we're gonna get some eye straps. Um, I've got one here, so I just need two more. Time to go to the hardware store. Okay, so we're back from the hardware store. They didn't have these, which is what I was looking for. Um, so we're gonna have to go with something like this. It's okay, because I only need two of them. Um, so I'll just put two of them here on the sides. These just screw in and then it just gives you a loop. So that'll be fine, you can just put a we can just put a carabiner through that. Um, yeah, and it should be okay. So let's get these up. So the easiest way that I've found to put these in is to drill a small pilot hole, smaller than this. And then you can start screwing this in by hand. Once it gets, starts to get tight, you can put a screwdriver through here and you can just start twisting it down that way. Okay, so now that I've got the mounting hardware up, let me explain better about what we're gonna do. So we're gonna use this wire, this steel cable. It's steel cable, but it's wrapped in a shielding. We're gonna use this, and we're gonna create like a hanging frame for the string lights. So this cable can hold up to 450 pounds. Um, and uh, we're gonna use this and we're gonna attach the actual string of the lights to this cable. But this cable is gonna go up first and it's gonna be used as a hanging frame. That'll make more sense once we have the cable up there. But the first thing we need to do is we need to create a couple loops in this cable. Okay, we're gonna use a tensioner on each end of the cable so that we can tighten it up in the future if it ever loosens a little bit. So I want to start this pretty loose. That means with these screws out. And the reason for that is because over time it's going to get stretch and I want to I want this to last as long as possible. So I want to be able to tension it more. So we'll start it off pretty loose, kind of like that. Okay, the next part of this is creating a loop at the end of the cable. So we'll take this little bracket and we'll unscrew these nuts on the end. It came with this little socket wrench, which is nice. And then we'll take off this plate. I'm going to take the end of the cable, this cable, and I'm going to put it through one of our tensioners. Here's our tensioner. One of our tensioners here, since this is a closed loop. We're going to wrap that up like that. And then I'm going to take this bracket. I'm going to put the cable on one side just like that and then I'm going to take the cable the other end of the cable and put it right there on the other side just like that okay then we're going to put this down like that that's going to kind of sandwich the cable in there to create the loop so we'll put the nut back uh, nuts back on And then we'll just tighten them up with this little wrench. And 
you want to make sure these are pretty tight uh, just so it doesn't the loop doesn't slide out since there will be some tension on it All right, now we have a pretty strong loop there. That's good. And then this side has a hook, so we can hook it onto the eye strap that we hung on the ceiling. We're gonna create another loop like this on the other end of this cable, but uh, we have to wait and see exactly how long we need the cable first. I'm gonna roughly measure how long we need the cable so I can get to the other end and, and feed it through up at the top. Obviously I'll need to feed it through and create the loop after I've already done that. So I'm going to take a good amount of cable, I'm going to overestimate so that uh, I don't run into problems later. Okay guys, so we got the wiring up and I'll show you what I mean by frame. So if you look up there, you can see the wire goes all the way around. That's going to act as the hanging frame for our string lights. And we're going to hang the string lights using these carabiners. And they're just going to attach to that wire. Roughly about actually where each eye strap is. So it's time to hang some lights.
right guys so this is the final product as you can see the lights are all the way around the perimeter here and yeah so that's how you uh, mount string lights using the string light mounting kit from Amazon I'll put a link in the description below for that kit are there a couple things you could do differently? Sure, you could run the steel cable directly through the eyes on the light string themselves. The reason why I didn't do that is because that means when you run the string, you have to run the lights at the same time and it makes the string a little bit heavy. Um, so it's a little bit harder to do. Although it might be a little more aesthetically pleasing in the end to do it that way. I don't mind the ties up there. I mean, people aren't really gonna notice because it's just gonna be bright out here and you can hang out. Um, other than that, this works pretty good. I, I hung the string first be to give myself a frame and to map out the path of the string lights themselves. This is the easier way to do it, uh, in my opinion. Like I said, you could put it through the eyes of the actual string um, and it might be more aesthetically pleasing, but it's a little bit more difficult. Either way, looks pretty good to me. Thank you for joining me for another Problem Solved.